Hi everyone, and welcome to Almost Cancelled. I'm Peter, and this is Connor. Hey guys. We're going to talk about American Gothic, Season 1, Episode 1. It's called Arrangement in Grey and Black. Not Pilot, because they don't like making my life easy. I have to name Bastards. something. But, now this is the new show from CBS, um, and we will start spoiler-free, because it's a first episode, and we like to do that. Because you may actually be interested in hearing what it's, if it's any good without spoilers on the first episode. So, um, yes, you'll be warned before spoilers. So. To be fair... I don't think there's that much to spoil beyond the basic premise in the first episode. No, I mean, there's some reveals towards the end, but yeah. There's not that much. It'd be, if you know the basic premise of the show, you, there's not that much you can spoil in this first episode. Still, you will be warned. Yeah. but So, um, well, we weren't overly optimistic into this. Not we were really, kind of no. getting in thinking, eh, it'll probably not be that good. It'll probably be dropped after one episode. Uh, how did you feel about this first episode, Connor? I was pretty fucking bored, I'll be honest. Hmm. What about you? Interesting. Um, I didn't hate it. Like I was, like I was expecting to just be kind of against the whole thing, and I, I w- wasn't. Now I'm not saying it was good because it wasn't. It was definitely trash TV. That's the thing. I'm, I don't think it's bad i was just bored because i didn't care there's a lot of ropey acting sort of throughout and lots of just cliches lots of cliches lots of really obvious things where they beat you over the head with the point to make sure you get the the, hint, the thing they're hinting at or yeah the twist it's, very, they're hinting it's, it's at. very cbs isn't it it's very cbs uh but i didn't hate it because i, I think for two reasons one at least the the plot it's dealing with is the kind of thing that is kind of interesting to me. See, you know, I, I think that, but then I think I've seen this like twelve times in the last two years. Have you? A, a family with secrets. Someone's against. You know, it's just all very. Name same an example. English. One will come to me in a few minutes. <laughs> The problem is I don't watch all this trash TV. I see all the trailers and go. No, but yeah. I can't, you specifically said you've seen it ten times in the last two years. So it was. It was a, a, you, would, a, you would think you'd think of one example if you'd you said think that. I would. What I mean is, I've seen ten trailers that are exactly the same as uh, this okay, premise, and okay. I just don't care about anything. Anyway, the, the point I was getting at is, at least thematically, I you know I, I like murderers stuff, and I like you know mysteries. What I like about murderers. Yeah, mysteries. You know. Um, but honestly, the best thing the show has going for it is just kind of how relentlessly, unapologetically pulpy it is. Like, it just keeps throwing things onto it without caring. Like, it does. they set up the murder mystery and then immediately, oh, uh, bad things, oh, immediately other things, immediately brother with drug problem, like, immediately, like, it just kept throwing things at the screen, which is kind of a fault, don't get me wrong. And it yeah. definitely isn't good, but I was almost kind of enjoying it in a weird, like, this is kind of terrible. This, this is essentially the sort of shit you watch instead of watching a soap. Possibly. if It's like, you know, if you're against soaps as a thing, and you hate yeah. the idea of them, it, you, you probably, but you like that, like, you, you probably skew more towards this comparatively. This is probably like your equivalent of a soap compared to the other stuff that you watch. Don't get me wrong, I, I still... Don't know if I care enough to watch it anymore, but <laughs> um, like I didn't hate my time with it, and I chuckled when Joel from The Last of Us just appeared. Yeah. See, this is this is my problem with it. It's kind of just so ridiculous as to the amount of shit that it's just adding in and adding in and adding in, and I just it's none of it's interesting though. Like it, it should be, but it's not. Nah, I, I, I get you, I get you. It's funny because when when it started, like I wasn't, you know, a couple in the car and they're, you know, we're sort of interesting. The acting wasn't great, but it, it was kind of introducing things and they, they did the whole one eighty with the it not being their car that's in the accident, and you know, and then we set up the, the family in the big house. I'm like, oh, that's a nice house. I was I was almost hoping the whole thing was just going to be set in the house. 
Like it, it would be like a you know a murder mystery thing just in the house for like ten episodes. That would be cooler. Yeah, uh, but by the time it got to the title screen and we started having heart attacks and they started doing more things, it got a little bit less interesting. It's like every time they revealed something new, I got less interested. Yeah, so they weren't letting the dramatic weight of whatever they'd done last actually. Yeah. I'll, I'll I'll point out one scene that I actually quite liked. Just for, Are we in for, spoilers now, then? No, I don't think so. Okay. I just, just from a... Uh, not, even, not even cinematography, per se, but just, just the way it was blocked. The uh, They're at the hospital because they're getting news about someone, and the, the sister that we... We, we follow our sister outside to make a phone call, and then as the rest of the family get the news, she sees it from the outside, and we just see it... Like she doesn't hear anything, she just sees how they react, and then mm. she reacts from that. I actually kind of like that. Just there's a an idea. Like it is a nice idea. Don't don't get me wrong, it is. It's not enough to redeem it, but it's well, nice. No, I'm I'm just saying. Like that's this one scene where I thought, oh, that's a nice film film making idea. There's, you just see the react. You don't actually have to hear what the doctor says. You can just see from Reactions how, how, how her mother reacts. Yeah. That oh, now I know how to react. So. I, I, I like that scene. I'm, I'm giving positives, but positives are Yeah, like, that's the thing. It's not all bad. It's not. It's just there. I don't know. It's it just every time they give me a new... There's so many things that are just thrown at it. It's like, which one of these hey, am I supposed to care I'm about? I'm just trying to be fair. I'm trying to, you know, give it positives when I can, and I'm trying to critique it. You've come in this with a negative attitude from the start. So, well, no, no. This thing, if you take each of these threads that they throw individually, probably pretty good, you know? If you go, just this or just that. You know, they're not all great, but like, yeah, I can see something going good with this. Mm. But then you get all of them. And no, it's no, like, no. It's too much packed in. Um, and like I say, the acting's pretty ropey, and it's a little bit cheesy with the music. Although, again, the, the music kind of added to that pulpiness of it for me a little bit. Yeah, until lot, until they started doing the Assassin's Creed theme towards the end. Wait, what? <laughs> one of one of the bits of music at the end. It, it's like the, it's the intro to the Assassin's Creed theme, and it really bothered me. I was like, this okay. is like, this is identical, like harmonically. I I, w- I would obviously wouldn't notice that because I don't like those games, but you know, it, it completely pulled me out. I was like, uh, okay, that was weird. Hmm, interesting. But no, like. There's enough pulpiness to it that I wouldn't be opposed to watching more, but at the same time, I don't care enough if we decide we're not doing it for this show to watch anymore. Does that make sense? Do you, do you see where it's fitting into my... Yeah, basically, if you decide we're going to do it for the show, you'll watch it. <laughs> yeah. If we're not going to do it for this, then it'll probably never, ever get watched. Yeah, like... I think I think it had had we like had Outcast and like Preacher being like bombs and we hated those, and we needed content for the summer, we'd be putting up with this. But I don't know if, like I don't know if, like it doesn't sound like you're willing to watch anymore. So I probably won't watch anymore. I mean, I, I could watch another one, <laughs> if like I wouldn't. I see the thing is I wouldn't want to rush to watch it. It would it would have to be something I'd put on. While I knew I could do something else if it got worse, yeah. I wouldn't. I couldn't. I don't think I could dedicate a hundred percent of my attention to this show. I mean, my only, my one sort of like interest in watching more would just to see how much crazier it gets if they keep like throwing more things at it. Yeah, but just just on a pure train wreck level. <laughs> but that that could that could be tiring by like episode 5 and I'm like, okay this is old now cuz the, they've been piling on so much episode after episode that now it doesn't I don't feel anything from it. Yeah, how, how many episodes is this? Uh 10 or 13, I'm not sure which. Uh, the weird thing as well, it feels like it should be a really finite story. Yeah, yeah but... it's not a mini series, it's just a season 1 like uh, maybe, it... maybe it won't get a season 2, but Yeah, uh, well I... I don't think it's inte- I think CBS with the summer stuff is when they do get more serialized and they do plan for shorter things like this. Um, maybe yeah. maybe it'd be an anthology style. Maybe season two would be. Uh, that's true. A different murder mystery somewhere else with other people. That's true. Could be that. Yeah, uh, uh, we should probably tell you the basic premise of the show. Actually, shouldn't we? Before we get into spoilers. Uh, so there's this rich family. Uh, 
the, the mum and dad who are you know in their elderly years in their sixties or whatever, and you have all their adult kids. Uh, one's a teacher who's married to a cop. One's a junkie who's got a son, but he's doing all right for himself. He's clean. One's been missing for years, and he's a bit of a you know don't want to talk to the rest of the family. And one's a politician who uh, attempting to run for mayor. I want to say mayor. I don't know if they actually said specifically what she was running for. She, they just mentioned she had a campaign. I feel like they said mayor. Maybe they did. I don't maybe, but then, then again, maybe I'll just imagine that to make it a bit more interesting for uh, myself. I don't know. But uh, the dad was in, like, the, he made his fortune out of construction. He owns a construction firm and all that. And one of the bits of a, a tunnel that his company was responsible for collapses. And the actual news of that, though, is that they find a belt in the concrete which is connected to a murder case from, like, you know, a decade and a half ago. And it's this serial killer who stopped killing, like, ten years ago. And the, you know, the case is brought up. And So, that was something I really didn't like. You know when they find the belt? Mm. Could they not have just found it when they were, like, digging through? Like, it, it was literally just it conveniently just right there. Uh, I don't know. It just annoyed I, me. I don't... I don't care one way or the other. I think... I think with the first thing like that, you can just have it be a giant coincidence because it's kind of how you find things like that. Yeah, fair enough. Um, like, why? Like, what reason would they have to dig through the concrete that fell down? Well, no, not digging through it, but, you know, they've got to clean it and move it all away, right? Okay, all right. So as they're picking it up, they've got to break it into... Sm- it's going to break into smaller bits. I would have liked if that... The, all right, okay. Like the belt would come out while it was being broken up instead of, oh, as the clean break came down, it was just uh. right conveniently on the right edge. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. That was bothering me, but I see what you're saying. Yeah, I, I don't know. It was just, it's just a bit easy. I think if it ha- if if that happened twice, like if something like that happened again, it would really bother me. But yeah, you get one. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I can let it off. But... Yeah. yeah. Um, and then obviously the the family start and like finding clues that may be related to their family, and they start investigating, and you know, that that's your show. Um. So, are we, before we go into spoilers, for the people who care about our opinions and don't want spoiled, are we are we doing another episode? Eh, I don't know. Well, so I, I was just thinking, I'll see how I feel next Thursday, <laughs> and if I can be asked to watch an hour of this after work. Um, that's that's what it boils down to for me at this point. Can I be asked to sit down after work and watch this for an hour instead of something else? I'm going to make you pick just now. It's kind of up to you. I'm willing to do it. See, that's the thing. I don't really care. I don't... I don't... I'm leaving it up to you. Can I, I'm going to say no, and then I'm going to check out some reviews of places, <laughs> places that actually got the advanced ones that will have had a few episodes and see see if they warn me for or against. Okay. And you can put... For, for any video list watchers you can put a little annotation once I've checked that out <laughs> of whether or not this will be happening audio viewers will well you'll find out in the next episode won't you uh, cool uh, like I say it's very trashy some ropey acting but there is kind of a weird everything in the kitchen sink kind of pulpy ridiculousness to it that I thought was okay like like, you know, the one we suspect might be a killer starts shaving with a giant, like, blade, like a knife. It's just you know? a proper big hunting knife. It's a big hunting knife, and he, he starts shaving with it, and it's like... It's it's so cliche and ridiculous that it kind of makes me bored. <laughs> See, it made me giggle. Yeah, but that's... that's I don't know if that's better or worse. <laughs> Not that I, but... Uh, before we should go, let's talk about a few spoilers, uh... I want to get into some spoilers. So, spoiler warning for the first episode if you are if you're caring about it. Um, so, the junkie brother, his kid, has this weird obsession. <laughs> oh, that kid is fucked. With uh, now, if it wasn't for the fact that all the murders took place before he was born, I'd be pointing at him as suspect number one as the silver bell killer. No, no. He's definitely picking up the legacy in ten years' time. <laughs> because he has this obsession with drawing. Um, death and death related things he wants to be a uh, a medical examiner for quote unquote the autopsies 
Uh, after that, that line cracked me up when like, he's just like saying what he, what he wants to be. And he just drops. See, that's the thing. I'm not sure if it's meant to or not. <laughs> I can't tell because he delivers it like really flatly. I'm not sure if it's meant to be like, oh, this is kind of creepy or this is just amusing. And I'm not sure which it's meant to be. <laughs> made me laugh. Maybe, oh, maybe CBS want me to take this seriously, and I'm just. Like, See, that's the thing. I get the impression they do want me to take it seriously. They're going like this this dark thriller stuff, and I can't I can't take it seriously when that kid is saying <laughs> shit like that. Uh, um, and then he lost me. I was enjoying the kid, and then he lost me later in the episode when he decided to cut off a cat's tail for no goddamn reason. <laughs> to, to test if the shears could cut through it. He was like, God. shears can cut through bone. Is there bone in a tail, though? I want to say yes. Is it like a thin bone going up the middle of it? I would imagine so. It does move, I suppose, so I guess it does. Yeah, I, I would have thought so. It's just something to Google after this. <laughs> I guess it does. Um, but, so so there was him. Uh, so, so the brother of Garrett, who's, I think that was his name, has been missing, and that'll be the only name I remember, by the way. Uh, the only reason I remember his name is because they co- constantly referred to him before he showed up. Uh, I don't remember any of the other names at all. <laughs> no, not that I. Uh, so he's kind of suspect number one, and we're thinking it was the dad maybe, but then at the end we get the twist. Uh, the mother kills the father. So uh, the problem is? He's lying in the hospital. They're all too obvious. Yeah, that, that is the problem. It's going to be a third party who but they kind of knew about and covered up for some reason. or It's... It's too obvious to give it away in the first episode like oh, that. Oh, of course. Which means it's probably none of them. That's it, though. The mother killing the father is shady, regardless. It is a bit. Yeah, so... I'm, just, I'm I don't want to say I care about finding out, but... Um, you know, whatever. Actually, I, I thought, actually, to critique it a little bit... Uh, in a more... Like, technical aspect... I did think the way they did that twist at the end felt a really bit weird. See when it cut to the black to go to the credits or whatever? Yeah. It felt like a really weird, like, like damp, like... They didn't do, like, a proper sting in the music, and they also didn't go, like, quietly sinister. It just kind of felt like it... It felt like the end of an ad... Like, before the ad break, rather than the end of an episode, I guess, is what I'm saying. Yeah, it was edited a bit weirdly, wasn't it? Yeah, it, was, it felt a bit off, is what I'm saying. Um... But yeah, so was that, and yeah, I guess okay, sure. <laughs> uh, I just I could do without the junkie brother to going back to his junkie ways. Like that was a bit. It, you see, it was like okay, there's a serial killer. I can deal with this. That's all you needed for the first episode, to be honest. Hmm. And then you go junkie brother. And then you go psycho kid. And then you go oh brother from before shows up out of nowhere. Then you go, well, I mean, then there's all sorts of various things with them that aren't really needed, and then you have the mother killing the the, the father. It's like, yeah. I, I think having the killer and maybe just Garrett coming back would have been enough for episode one. Like, because they tease him early on, so maybe have him be the cliffhanger. Like, have him... Yeah, like, one of these things is fine yeah. with it, but, like, it could have been just the killer or the killer and one thing, but all of them in... in 40 minutes, it's just too much. Yeah, yeah, it was too much. It was... It, it was... <laughs> that fucking kid had me in stitches. Uh, uh... And that's the thing, I really don't think it's meant to be funny. I really don't. Yeah, you may be right. But if I do watch any more of this, the enjoyment I get out of it will be the funniness that comes from it, and not... Yeah, not what it's intended to be. Yeah. yeah. So. Which uh... makes it hard to recommend it to anyone, though, doesn't it? It does. I mean, I think you have to like trashy TV to yeah. even get any enjoyment out of this. And I don't know if I actually do. Because I thought I did last year. Last year I watched the uh, stream TV show for a good chunk of that, like almost all the season. I gave out like two episodes before the end. And I never thought it was good. But I was kind of like, oh, it's kind of okay in a trashy way for the first couple of episodes. But by the time I got to like, episode six or seven, I was like miserable. Like, you know. 
See, interestingly, I would argue Scream Queens is kind of trashy in that sense for at least the first half no, of the season. No, but it's meant to be, though. Yeah, that's the difference. It knows it is, so it yeah. has fun with it. This is accidentally trashy, which it, it just gets boring quickly. And that's the problem. Which is funny, actually, because when you think of like, really bad movies that people like to watch because they're bad... Whenever they try and replicate it and do it knowing that it's bad and intentionally make it bad, it's always shit, shit yeah. and loses its charm. Like, it's always better when it's unintentional. And yet, when it comes to long form like this, it's the opposite. Like I think it's because you spend too long with it that it's funny at first, but then you just get bored. Yeah. But when it's aware of it, it can play with the expectations properly and knows when to be what level of trashy. Yeah. Although I think Colin Scream Queen's trash is a little bit harsh, though. Because I feel like... I think it grows out of it, but the, the first half of it is quite trashy. Yeah, I, I don't know, but I, I feel like because it's an intentional comedy, it's not the same thing. Yeah. Whereas, I know what I mean. Like, an intentional trashy that's good... I'm trying to think of an example. Um... I don't know, maybe season one of Prison Break. That's quite trashy. Yeah. But it's kind of fun just because it's, you know. Yeah, I, I get it. It's but, just... Eh, I don't know. We've rambled on about what qualifies as trashy long enough. Uh, so that's American Gothic. This might be back next week. We'll mm. see. I feel like it probably won't. I feel, I feel like I feel like we're, we're not committing to this. Because <laughs> we've got, we've got roadies starting at the end of the week. That's true. And then Dead of Summer starts next week. And I feel like, you know, once we've got those two shows, which have a better chance of sticking around with us. I feel like if those are good, this is this is fucking right off. <laughs> Essentially, because I'm, I'm going to watch these good things. Because I'm going to have that. I'm going to have Brain Dead. Probably yeah. going to relatively enjoy the Game of Thrones final, you know. And then I'm going to get to this, and I'm just going to be like, can I be asked to watch this shit? Nah, probably not. Oh well, that's American Gothic, episode 1. Let us know what you thought of it in the comments below, if you watched it. Uh, did you get any fun out of it? Um, let us know. Uh, like and subscribe, the usual stuff. You know, the, the thing I always say at the end, you, you, if, you, if, if you're new to the channel, then... It's the same as what they say on every other channel. Yeah, I'm it really helps us out. Just like, subscribe, yeah, share. Comment. Sorry, but if you're a regular, then you know what I say at the end anyway. I'm just... I'm almost at the point now where I'm just going to say what I usually say. Bye. <laughs> maybe be... maybe that's not great for a first episode of a show, though. Probably not. No. No. I'm joking anyway. I'll still say it. I'm just. It's, it, I'm. I'm lippy. I'm hungry. I've got leftover Italian food to be eaten. Italian food. Yeah, I ordered Italian food tonight. Oh, how very fancy of you. Yeah, I know. I mean, Who orders Italian food? Well, I've, I discovered this good place, um, and the meals are quite cheap you know it's a uh, reasonable price and uh get a lot of garlic bread with it you know it's nice i don't think i've ever ordered an italian takeaway before uh, i got uh not, get... not counting pizza obviously yeah not counting pizza uh, and i got i got two meals because that's tomorrow covered too because <laughs> why not yeah, yeah exactly uh that's really nice and i'm looking forward to eating that i'm going i'm going to go eat that Immediately after the record, and this outro has went on far longer. You can really tell we don't care about this show. Can't it's I? went on far longer than any outro we've ever done on this channel. So, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. We will see you next time. Probably not for this show, though. For other shows, uh, we'll see you then. <laughs>